time there without Joe. What does Al bring to the five position? Um, I mean, Al Horford, um, a stretch, a stretch guy who can um, shoot the ball, get to the rim, uh, make plays, set good screens, um, and defensively, he's great uh, defensive end. What do you see specifically though, when he's playing at the five? Does anything sort of change? I mean, it's only been like a week, so it's hard to really say, but. Um, Miss Al Horford, every time I play against him, he gives a tough time defensively. Um, he's IQs at a high level. Um, he's a leader. What have you seen from Tobias as a three versus a four? You know, again, I know it's only I mean, a week I don't and a half, really, I don't really look at it as positions. I mean, we're all players, so when we're out there, we're just making plays. And that's a lot of guys in this team um, and this roster. Guys can make plays, so I don't think it's any one position um, unless you're really looking at it, you know, guarding the five, Maybe guarding the defensive end. Possibly. Yeah, defensive end. I mean, he's, he wants to be uh, – one of the best defenders in the NBA. So um, I think so far he's doing a great job. Uh, he's really setting an example uh, for all of us uh, to, to make sure we're you know, doing our job in defense today. Brad said that he had noticed during the short time that he was going back to his defense. Some things that have been better this year. Tobias? Tobias. He's, uh, he's more active, he's more vocal. Um, he's really taking it upon himself to be a better defensive player because he knows offensively he's right there, um, but defensively he's gotten a lot better already. As you mentioned, it's only been a week, but what have you seen from Josh and Allen on how they fit into the system and they both are so far for the first week? Great, amazing. Um, they work hard, they communicate on the floor, um, they give all they got on the floor while they're on there. Um, communication's been huge with Josh and Al. They've both been guys who will speak up and be leaders and, and uh, trying to help the team get better, so they've been great. What more do you expect to learn about the team at the end of two games against NBA? <laughs> I don't know. It's only been like a week, so. Um, we'll see. I mean, we're, we're going to see. We're going to see where we're at when we play against Charlotte coming up, and then Orlando. So it'll be a good test. I mean, I'd like to say I can play with anybody. Um, I try to make the right play every time. So, I mean, having guys who can. Play the game the right way, and uh, that play at a high level makes it easier for me. So they make me look good. Um, so yeah, uh, they just know how to play the game. So you know, if I see some somebody's open, I'm gonna give them the ball. Um, and Allen and Josh and everybody on the floor knows how to make the right play. How far along are you in terms of learning when and where guys like the ball? You know, what do you mean? In terms of you know guys specific spots where guys like the ball or when they like to get the ball, whether it's an entry pass or whatever. You know how 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 much. Has that progressed just in the last week and a half with guys? Uh, a lot. I mean, it's a lot better. I mean, it's hard to really judge. Tangible, you know, yeah. It's hard to judge right now, but um, I think Charlotte's going to be a good test for us um, in Orlando. You know, playing against NBA guys who have a different system um, and they're a lot bigger and have more length, so that would be a good test. I think I'll be able to reevaluate myself okay. on that. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.